What's going on everybody? Happy 12 beers of Christmas. Chip Walton here with uh, no. the Midway All-Star Dono. We are in frigid territory, y'all. It is uh, 18 degrees, feels like one. You know that joke in planes, trains, and automobile where in the back of the truck and he's like, what degree, do you, how cold do you think it is? Or what do you think the temperature is? One, that's what it is. So we may not stay out here the whole time because it's also windy, we may retire. <coughs> but I just wanted to show y'all, man. I mean, it's like mid-November. We thought we were going to get an early start on the 12 beers of Christmas. And no, nah, man, a week before Thanksgiving, Mother Nature gave us a, an icy gut punch. Well, we've been in this for a week already. So yeah. yeah, a couple weeks before Thanksgiving. But I got to point out before we start talking about this beer, Don O, hardcore bike rider. Coming in hot. His bike's over there. This guy already went out for a bike ride today. You haven't missed many days, right? No, not this year. Not not this season. That's hardcore. So yeah. the first here, let's retire to the garage because my fingers are starting to cramp up already. Don O's got these like woolly mammoth winter well, gloves they're on. They're not that warm. <laughs> my fingers are they're exposed. They're like yours, actually. They're transformers. Just one quick more look before uh, we. It's insane out here, y'all. So, woo! 2022, 12 beers of Christmas. The first beer up is from Arbiter Brewing Company. Y'all know them. They're our friends. And we kind of, I thought we would start with something not too over the top as far as holiday and Christmas beers, because I know what's coming. There are a lot of those coming over the next 12 videos or 11 at this point. So this is called Winter Zeit or Winter Zeit. It's just a fest beer, which if you saw a video that I did maybe about a month ago, I love fest beers. And you could almost argue, you've already done this. But the fact is, the fact that this is like still something that Arbiter decides to pour as a winter seasonal now, instead of just a fall beer, a fest beer, I'm 100% in. Don O, what do you think of Winterzeit? It's really clean and delicious, flavorful. It's, it has a little more character than um, straight up like a Pils, one with made like mostly all Pils malt or even like a Hellas. Um, it has, uh, I don't know how to describe it, that it has a unique graininess that I don't know what of that malt that comes from. It's not a sweet component, it's more of a, a bready, crackery kind of a component that is uh, very enjoyable. I agree, it is just super crisp, pale lager, not, the hops are floral, a little spicy, the malt is just driving it, and it's just like so clean. Kind of Maybachy, kind of Hellasy, but kind of its own thing too. Like if it if it were fall, <laughs> now winter, you'd want it to have a little bit more bones on it. Uh, and that's exactly what it is. I love seeing this kind of beer, you know, come out at this time of year instead of like, you know, I will say I was at Arbiter Day, had the Pfeffernoose beer, which you will see in one of the 12 beers of Christmas. And that is the antithesis. It's a winter warmer with every spice you could imagine oh. thrown in it. So... This, I thought, was a nice kind of like starting point for the beers <laughs> yeah. of Christmas. It's a beautiful color, very clear. Arbiter makes quality beers, whether you uh, like one of theirs uh, as much as, you know, some other kind of beer. It's like uh, high quality, you know, looks great in the, in the glass, tastes great in the mouth. In the mouth, man. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to just reward you, Dono. We thought about punting this till tomorrow when it's going to be a whole 27 yeah. or something. I was like, maybe. no, if Dono took a bike ride, he should come down here real quick before getting into his evening itinerary with the kids and whatnot and have a lager. It's a nice lager, too. Yeah, it yeah. is very enjoyable. I mean, like you say, it's uh, maybe not uh, <clears throat> 12 beers of Christmas uh, typical if yeah. you're going for big or strong or flavorful or unique. Right. But um, tasting good today. Yeah. 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 It's yeah, cooling yeah. off. You said it was, you had it warmed up in I, your basement yeah. and now it's <laughs> rapidly cooling <laughs> off. I took it out like a colder. half hour in advance on the off chance that we made this happen. And it maybe, you know, probably got into like the upper 50s, lower 60s. But I agree. My last sip, I was like, Drink it quick. This is getting a little bit more like a football stadium beer in the winter time. <laughs> and there is a football game right now at the U of M outdoor oh, stadium. Oh. That was, that's where I rode down that way. Hell no. Yeah. People are piling in. Dude, Minnesota crazy. 
cardboard. I saw a bunch of people with cardboard to probably put on their bench oh, or whatever, I guess. Yeah. But when I noticed that Concordia hasn't put their bubble up, and Elsa mm-hmm. and I were like, why wouldn't they do that? I was like, I bet it's just that thing that like those last couple of games of a football season mm-hmm. can be this way, and like you shouldn't. I don't know adjust if, it to your advantage. Like you yeah. should be playing in the element. If you have an outdoor stadium, you should be stuck know, with your outdoor stadium. I don't know if they stadium. play football in that bubble though either. I'm not sure what. Well, that's my kind of my point. Maybe they don't put it up till after football. Yeah, might be in order for no one to call foul. Like, oh, if we were on our home field, we'd be in the snow, but because you got this cushy bubble. Yeah, people it, play outside in the Midwest. A lot of these stadiums. Anyway, if you're the field manager of one of these universities with a bubble, <laughs> tell us if you intentionally wait. Until after the football season so that no one cries foul. Or if you're just like, holy crap, no one predicted winter was going to fall on us in three days. And here we are. I don't have time to put up the bubble. I'm defrosting a turkey for Thanksgiving. I don't know, man. <laughs> you're off topic. I am. All right, y'all. <laughs> Me and Dono, we might, we might shoot some icy <coughs> hoops. We call it the St. Paul Snowball League. We're going to get into it. All right, Dono. All right. Cheers. Cheers. First. Beer of Christmas. We didn't do all that. First beer of Christmas. Yeah. Mmm. After last year, I kind of decided I would stop singing that at the beginning on the off chance that I need to, like, adjust. So that, like, oh, this actually needs to be sooner because we've already shot it versus, like, the plan so that I can just voice over, like, hey... This year's third beer of Christmas yeah. is Winter's Ite. Gotcha. But in this case, we've definitely like sealed it in amber by being like, it's the first and it's cold and I know what's coming up. I guess. So, Dono made the cut for the first beer. Boop, boop. <laughs>